Hey guys, so for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that my A6000 camera body broke and my kit lens broke. Now, there are a few of you in the comments section that motivated me to try to fix the kit lens, and so I did. And in fact, about 40 minutes after I posted that video, I was able to fix the kit lens that was broken. So in this video, I'm gonna take the kit lens apart again. It's working perfectly but I'm gonna take it apart for the purposes of teaching you guys how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, so step one is to remove the lens from your camera. So around the back, you'll see that there are four screws here that are silver. Those are the ones that you will have to remove. Now the screwdriver that I'm using, I'm only gonna use two tools today. This is a super tiny screwdriver that I got um, I believe it's from one of those iPhone battery replacement packs. And then this is simply a plastic pry tool that's been used quite a bit. So let's remove these four screws. And then just to keep yourself organized, make sure that you are putting all of the screws together. And what I do is I will typically place everything from uh, left to right so that I know once I place everything up there, I'll just do the reverse to put everything back. Now there is a screw here on the side that you do not need to remove. So you can lift this up and now's the fun part where you have to start removing this ribbon cable. So the key here is with these white connectors there's a little black piece on the very end that you need to lift up and it's going to be hard to see this. So I'll try to rotate this over but you essentially want to lift up it flips up to 45 degrees or 90 degrees, and then you can pull the ribbon cable back. And be very careful because these ribbon cables, these ribbon cables are very fragile. And you can put that to the side. You will also notice that there are these rubberized um, rings here. These are standoff rings and they keep the PCB board in place. There's two of them, so remove those and make sure that you don't lose them. Next, you want to detach the other connectors. So there's one, two, three more white ones, and you do the exact same thing. The only difference is uh, you will have to flip the black lever to close from the other side. So you lift it up just like that and then out the small one do the exact same way you lift it up and you lift it out and the last one you lift up and you pull it out all right so once all of those are removed you can remove the entire board here. There it is. The first thing I like to do is getting this motor out of the way. So you do that by removing these two black screws. There's also this little bracket, metal bracket that you'll have to remove. So make that three. Then you can take this bracket out. There you are. And now the motor can be removed. And it has this little connector that sits right in there. So we'll put that to the side. All right, so we're probably about 30% percent done at this point. Um, next we want to remove one, two, three, four screws that are holding this barrel on. Alright, so once those screws are removed, this simply slides off. Now this is kind of where things get a little tricky. So this barrel does not just come off. You have to bend it to remove it and what you have to do is there are um, these little tabs. You essentially have to bend the barrel 
hopefully you can see the inside, but you'll see that light comes through. You just want to push down on the outside of the barrel and then lift up just to get that tab over, then move over here, do the second one, and then move over again and do the third one. One that's popped out, you can see there, second one there, and then it comes off. So that is the outer barrel that has the zoom lever and then the focus ring. So that's removed. And so this is the piece that we have. Now this will move in and out, just like that. And this is where things get a little tricky. Now the nice thing about this kit lens is that there's only one way that it goes back together. This is where you really want to pay attention to what you're doing just to make sure that you can put it back this, the exact same way. So you need to remove this outer piece um, that has the front lens and then all the writing on it. And you could see that there are some pins that are gliding on in, in these trenches. Now they do come off. So if you rotate the inside with your hand, you see what, how it happens. And this is what you'll have to do to put it all back on. But if you rotate it all the way off to the end, it will detach. And what you'll see is there's a piece inside as well that is holding on to, uh, that is be, being held by these tabs that slot into the outside piece. So we can put that to the side, make sure you don't get any dust in there. And then we're left with really the inside of the lens barrel. Now I can go ahead and remove this piece from the back. In order to do that I'll have to detach this ribbon cable so just be careful it's held on with some sticky glue. This is kind of the end of the, um, the lens. Now what I want to show you is this piece here. So this is kind of the middle barrel and this outside piece is the piece that has a tendency to break. Um, let me show you, if you rotate it, there are some tabs where it will eventually pop off. You saw, yeah, if you just a little bit of tension, you can pop it on and off like that. So if you remove this, I can show you, yeah, this is the lens that I fixed. So what happened with my broken kit lens is that one of these tabs I mean, I'll point it out right here. One of these tiny little tabs snapped off and broke. And the piece of plastic was just rattling around inside the lens. In fact, this is it. This is the piece that broke off. And you can tell that their finish is slightly different because I used some Gorilla Glue and I glued it all back. So that is the tab that was broken off. Um, and that's what made my lens inoperable. So more than likely, I would say, from reading online, this is probably 90% of the issue with most of these kit lenses that are broken. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now, if you wanted to go further, you could. You could just slide this out. Um, there's a ribbon cable in here that goes uh, in a certain way. Um, so I'm going to leave that. Let's see. And this is the optical image stabilizer. So this is how it moves up, down, left, right. Now I would not venture this far into it. That's where I'm going to stop for the purpose of this video. If you do go further in, you'll see that the aperture blades are right there. If you happen to snap one of those out, it is such a pain to try to put all of those back in the exact same way. You can't touch those aperture blades. If you get the oil just from your fingertips on it, it's just a catastrophe. So I'm gonna make sure that this is nice and clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it all back together again. Now, the key is it may come go back together fairly easily, but there is only one correct way to put it back together. So you'll have, for example, these three tabs. Now it looks like, oh, you can go ahead and just slide these three tabs in to their slot any which way you would like, and then you'd be fine. That isn't the case. The 
lens only goes back together one way. So it either has to be here, it has to be here, or it has to be here. And it's a lot of trial and error to get it back, unfortunately. Um, but once you do, you'll know it because it'll collapse completely flush. So let's get started. First thing is we're gonna put this ring back on. So this is the back of the lens and this is the front, just for um, reference. So knowing that, you, the way I like to do it is I'll find this piece, this part of the outside right here, and I know that that is where this little ribbon cable will sit. So because I can line that up, I know that this is probably where these three little tabs need to go into. And this is the fun part. Now to put this back together, what you'll need to do, and I learned this the hard way, is you'll need to extend this barrel out so that these two dots are parallel. Make sure that the ribbon cable's out of the way. You have it sort of lined up and then it goes into these two slots right here on the outside or on the inside of the barrel. And you kind of have to wiggle it to get them in correctly. I'm gonna use my tool to push that little tab in and that is it. Now my ribbon cable, there we go. All right, so this is wrong. And the way I know this is because it doesn't go all the way down, it's not completely flush. So, although it was a valiant effort, unfortunately I have to take this off and try again by rotating this barrel, let's say counterclockwise, find the two slots that the pips go into and then again careful with the ribbon cable there we are that's how you'll know that it is in properly is when that piece is fully flush with the barrel click over and now you can see that the ribbon lines up you can just push it back down because the sticky residue is still there and it still moves freely which is perfect so that is all set. This lens collapses like that. You know you've put it back together properly. So the next step is to put these tabs in to the outside part of the lens. And what you'll have to do is kind of go extend this out just slightly like, like that. Put that into the slot. Might need to push from the bottom here. Make sure that all three are in and then you'll have to rotate it uh, clockwise on the outside until it pops into place. And this, look, I, get, I just got it on the first try. If it pops into place, you'll see that you can rotate it clockwise and then counterclockwise and then it comes out and then it goes down. And it, when you've done it correctly, that's what it'll look like. It'll collapse completely, it'll be flush, and that is truly the hardest part of this entire thing, is putting these three pieces together. So now that this is done, the rest is really a piece of cake. It's just a matter of putting else all the other pieces back on it. Uh, you'll notice that these little tabs here, uh, you'll have to bend this frame to get the tabs to line up properly. And there are little channels here, so there's three of them, and you're trying to basically get it over that lip on the outside of the lens. So if we set this up like that, you'll just have to carefully flex and bend the outside barrel, and eventually that's what will happen. You'll know you have it right when it's flush. And then the rest is really a reverse of what we did. Okay, so the motor is plugged in and screwed into place. I put the metal bracket back. Now we just put the PCB back in here. 
I found that putting these two in first worked best. So now the small one goes in like that. And you could use the little pry tool to push them back in. And then flat back down. That's done. And then the last one is for the outside connection. So before we do that, you don't want to forget to put these little rubber spacers on. This one goes in backwards from the other one. So you'll see it's folded over like this. You want to plug it in this way. So towards you and you can rotate it a little bit. There you are. Then flip the lock connector and that's in. And then you can set it down. And then you just line up the last four screw holes. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Taking this kit lens apart is really not that difficult as long as you're okay with a little bit of trial and error. Like I said in that video, it only goes back together one way, so you do have to be patient. The first time that I did it, it probably took me about an hour and 10 minutes. The second time was probably 40 minutes, and then the third time was probably 25 minutes or so. So you do get faster each and every time. Uh, now, I don't think that Gorilla Glue will always fix those little tabs. But so far, so good. I think that this lens, I've been using it for the last two months or so, and it hasn't given me any problems. And as you can tell from the video, it looks like the tab is still there, so it works. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for all the likes and all the comments and all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.